the vlog. So I'm heading to work right now. It is currently like 8.45, 8.40, and I'm about to leave for work. It's Monday morning and I need to get going. I'm at work now and I just got here settling in. Today I work till 3 I think and it is 9.30 right now. It's so foggy out today. Look at the windows, they're like foggy. But I'm gonna sit down and work for a little while. So you guys know I was reading that book, what was it called? A Mission for Meaning from Gabriel Conti and I finished it and it was so good. So I just got this book. This is I Still Believe. I loved the movie and so I wanted to read the book because I wanted to see some more information about it and also it's just really inspiring Christian um, life that happened for Jeremy Camp and so I'm really excited to read this. I've started it already. I think I'm like one chapter in. I'll let you guys know how I like it and give you updates on it and let you know if it's worth reading. If you haven't seen the movie, watch the movie because it's so good. Okay, it's now currently 11 and I've been working but as I've been working, I've been listening to this podcast the diary of a ceo and he did a podcast with cole sprouse like this it's pretty good so far um it's really interesting to hear you know his point of view on fame and his childhood and like what it's like to be a childhood star so i recommend that if you guys want to listen to it just conti actually posted that she listened to it and so it made me interested and so i listened to it so i thought i'd just share i don't know if i've showed my nails i got these cute little spring nails done i think they're adorable I just finished at the gym. About to go to Target. I did back and biceps. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I'm getting ready for work again because I have work at nine in the morning and I just put it on some light makeup right now and I'm exhausted I don't want to go but it's okay we're gonna we're gonna make it happen I'm close to being ready I just need to change and finish my makeup because we're not done but I have work this morning and then I have to go to the gym like always and then I think that's all I have so I shouldn't be too busy today I'm really excited for this day me and Zayden finished The Night Agent last night and it was so good. It's like a TV show on Netflix and there was some cheesy parts, not gonna lie. Like some of it was really cheesy. Overall, I really did enjoy it and had a really good storyline and the main actors were really good. So that's all that matters. But yeah, I, th I thought it was a really good show and I would definitely recommend it if you guys haven't watched it. It's a little bit more of like a, it's not like a, there's a little bit of romance, but it's not like a girly show. It's more, you know, more action and stuff like that. So if you like that kind of stuff, you should definitely watch it. We've been watching Love is Blind as well. Oh my gosh, guys, Love is Blind is nuts. And I think we're caught up on the episodes. So we're just waiting for the rest to come out on Friday, I believe. But oh my gosh, it's so crazy. I can't even with this season. Honestly, this season's probably my least favorite season so far. Um, my favorite one was the first season, and then my second favorite is probably last season in Dallas, and then my third favorite would be the second season, and then this is my least favorite one, because I just feel like everyone knows about the show now, so it's not like as special. Like the first season, they just went in completely like open and didn't think, oh, we're gonna be famous from this, you know? It was more just like, they were just open to love, and I feel like now everyone knows what the show is, and so when they see that they're casting for it, they're like, Oh, I need the fame kind of thing. I don't feel like it's as genuine, but I don't know. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite season. We're still gonna watch it because we have to know what happens. <laughs> yeah, so let me know if you guys agree with me on that because Love is Blind season one will always be the best season. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I will catch back up with you. I just bought this brown mascara and it's the first time trying out brown mascara and I honestly really like it. I think it looks a little more natural looking and I don't know. I'm just really liking it right now. This is the Lash 
sky high in the color true brown. I think it's a little more natural. I really like it. Just finished at the gym and honestly, I've been a very bad vlogger. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get some sandwiches right now and I vlog the rest of the day. I'm home, but I wanted to show you guys my gym outfit because it's really cute. Here's my gym outfit of the day. Leggings are alphalete, gray, Nike shoes, airy sports bra with this tank, and then my alphalete green jacket I think it looks so cute i have a concert tonight so i'm really excited but i'm kind of scared because i don't like staying out late and it's at seven and it goes to like 10 30 which is like way past bedtime so we'll see i need to change kind of chilly out not gonna lie so i need to put on something warm ish Okay, I threw some makeup on, like literally so quick. I have a concert later, so I just put on like more mascara than normal. Just to like make my eyes pop, but got my matcha, got all my stuff, and I'm going to work right now. And then I have to come back here early so that I can head to the concert. <laughs> Zane and I are going to the concert right now. We're kind of matching. Why'd you do that? You knew what I was wearing. <laughs> I know, it's okay. I wasn't planning on wearing this, but then I wanted to wear my cargos because they're so much comfier. I was, she thought I was going to be back at her house at 5.30, but I wasn't. I was back at her house like 5.50. And she, went, she was yelling at me, <laughs> and she wasn't even ready when I got there at 5.50. Meaning, she was 20 minutes late to being ready, and then she still wasn't ready. So she was 35 minutes late, so it wouldn't have mattered had I been on time. Okay, well, we're 39 minutes away from the place, and... It starts at 7 and we're gonna be there at 6.45, so we'll be late, but it's okay. Okay, bye. Movie of us isn't tragic. What is the best thing you had? Somebody near you walk back. What if the moon you walked away, you wish you'd turn around? What if you got it all wrong and that was the one? Stupid, Cupid. Water. Yeah, which is crazy. Wrong in all ways. I can see your mustache. Are you kidding me? The concert started two hours ago and he's still not here.
record right now, gotta be honest. concert and took a shower brushed my teeth and i'm about to get in bed it was really really fun and really good my friend jenna was playing in the, in the beginning so we went for that and then also i like joshua from like high school it's called the musical the series so it was good i was really enjoyed it and i'm ready for bed though because i have work at 9 a.m tomorrow and it's 11 30 so so good night it's the day after the concert it was really really good i enjoyed it a lot I'm exhausted though because that was just really late for me. I am back at work for another day and I go to maybe the gym today, maybe skip it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I really like this blue shirt that I got from Target. Just like a tank top. I'm wearing that today. I am home from work. I'm putting on a t-shirt now because I just showered and everything. My hair is looking a little greasy. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I mentioned previously in a video that I was going to be starting to use natural dry shampoo and so I finally got it in and this is from Just Ingredients, the Vanilla Mint Dry Shampoo and I've been using it for several days now and honestly like it makes my hair not feel so like, you know, when you use a lot of dry shampoo and it's like feels gross. This one does not do it. The only thing is, is it doesn't work as well, obviously, but it's okay because at least I'm not giving myself potentially cancer. I was just trying to take off my face makeup because it's been on all day and I can just tell it's gross. I want to show you guys how I do the natural dry shampoo. Kind of cool, honestly. I just was looking a little bit ratchet, so I was like, might as well just take it off, you know? Okay, how I use it is you just pump it really close to your roots and then it kind of puffs out some powder like that. And then you just kind of brush it and rub it in a little bit. And it smells 
so good. I actually want to eat the smell. And it says to hold it like farther back than I'm holding it back, but I find that it doesn't get as good if you hold it back more. I honestly wish I could just dip my brush in it and like brush my head with it. Like look at how much better. Just looks cleaner you know i mean my hair still does feel like that that kind of dirty feeling but it's not nearly as bad as the other dry shampoo was and there we go my roots are pretty absorbed right here in the front they're not as much because i did just shower so when i shower like my front pieces get kind of wet but yeah i think it's really cool and i'm gonna keep trying it out and letting you guys know how i like it i've only used it like three times now officially so we're just not sure yet but then i'm gonna finish it off with this oil do it in my hands and hit the ends of my hair i feel like it just keeps my hair looking super healthy and not breaking as easily because it's been like it's so dry like it just completely refreshes my hair yeah i wanted to just talk about that again this is from just ingredients vanilla mint dry shampoo they have one for dark hair to hurt people but i got the one for you know a lighter hair so let me know if you guys have tried it but i saw it on tiktok that's what made me buy it so okay i'm gonna end my vlog here here's a <sighs> just a bunch of random stuff and we went to the concert and all that but love you guys so much subscribe and i'll see you in the next video